Hi everyone, today I'm back with another interesting topic using Python that is we are going to send SMS using available APIs in the market. What kind of SMS? It could be OTP, transactional or promotional SMS. Let's see how those things are made, how, the, how those are uh, sent using Python and watch the complete video to know everything. Okay, let's uh, begin. Let's begin with this um, introduction to wet. We have these many uh, SMS providers uh, with API, uh, say Bitrix24, Local Text, Amazon, Message91. There are many. I'm going to use this Message91 API to demonstrate this uh, concept of this session. Okay, let's start that. I'll launch my Google Chrome and I will go to Message91 sign in page login page i already have account in it if you don't have create one okay i'm going to log into my account i don't want my password i'm going to request for send magic link i'll click on this button and we have emailed you the magic link that's great okay so if you want to type okay here so i will wait for my message so yes i got it just go to my mail inbox and it says this is mine I'll come back I'll enter my code I'll click on login soon after I log in it will take me to the index page oh uh, I'll show you it's beautiful uh, yes my internet is a little bit slow sorry for that okay there we go okay in here we can directly send SMS through this send SMS promotional or transactional as I said uh, in the beginning of this video we can give sender ID sender ID uh, maximum we can give is six letters or digits okay two uh, two is a mobile numbers we can load it through a CSV or Excel of maximum of 20 MB you can see and the message whatever you wanted to uh, promotion or give a transaction whatever you wanted to type say hi good morning or you want to wish or you want to uh, uh, drag a uh, prank at someone um, that's also what we are we need to check for the api's you know built-in api's every such providers definitely have their api's i uh, hope you can see this api link and click on this api and to this uh, these are the uh, components that they give by default so this is my authorization key or authentication key uh, this starts from here and ends here uh, let's create new we can create new one or oh, to get this api code we we need just need to go their documentation just i'll click on this api documentation it will take me to their documentation or, or a help page where I can get how these uh, authentication key and their messages or uh, headers everything are handled and how these SMS are triggered using these API's okay so hope you can see this send SMS under it there is a post rest click on this send SMS version 2 in here we can see these are the parameters called query parameters we can enter our message here authentication key mobile numbers and route sender and the country you want to send and here we have a body this is a json data this is json data in in a send sms i'll say this is get send sms version one they use xml you can just check it uh, here they use simple json okay this is a, a header information here and if you click on try it will directly send sms so we want python code to do all this so we don't want to uh, mess up around here because they have already written everything okay let's go to this sample code okay as you can see their APIs is written in almost all the majorly used programming language. I'll go to Python here and that's all. 
take all this copy this I'll launch my text mate I'll open my new page I'll paste everything here hell of a mess okay for so let me save this first and later I'm going to explain each and everything I'll save this to desktop as SMS dot py save okay sms dot py okay we are importing this in build package of python uh, to handle client side request so I'll import http dot client as let's say ht and I'll replace this with ht in ht we have a method called http connection where we are going to pass this url apa.message91.com what is this payload payload is the information of of the message or the sender name or route uh, which country you wanted to send or uh, it is it is a json data um, this is this doesn't look nice let me modify this okay i'll go back to the website here I'll copy these things. Message body. I'll come back to my text met again. I'll paste this here. So this looks beautiful. The same thing is written in this manner. In this whole line. Okay. I'm going to replace that. Okay, how do we do that? So we have this is full JSON file. Okay. They have taken two sets of SMS array inside a JSON. I'm going to remove one that is not necessary they are sending this message to two numbers I'm going to replace with one okay I'm going to insert my mobile number here double eight nine double two and here the message I wanted to send to this number okay the message is going to be uh, hello you have own one crore sorry crore rupees okay and this is the message this is the country uh, my service provider is in and what is this sender sender you can give anything say uh, puma and you can give up to six digit puma of as of a puma offer so this is my complete json data I'll quote this with three quotes and that's how we uh, do it in Python copy this go back to your file and replace complete line now this makes some sense now it is easily readable to anybody who check this code this is my payload and this is my header so payload uh, means which excludes header information so we have separate header uh, json here so authentication key to so go back to your account to get authentication in your control panel you can see in the api configuration authentication key copy this key go back to your text mate paste it here this is your authentication key okay we can change it uh, anytime you want so what is this I have created a connection here uh, to API of um, MSG 91 and these are two variables containing the JSON data with the message and the header information and I am calling the request method as a post as a post to this path so what is this path is just let's check out See to here I'm passing post as a method of a request and this is their uh, provider say send SMS is an API okay send SMS is an API these things are the variables for the query these things are the variable for the query and now they have left blank right side of the is equals to we need to give some input we don't give input because we are passing it through two variables like, like payload and header and we are calling 
connection again and get the response we need uh, something to show to the user whether it is successful successful or failure so we are reading that uh, a result a response uh, to this one more variable say data and I am passing I am printing it into a decode UTF-8 because this data is a blob say it is it's a byte it's a byte data okay I'm going to save this file uh, let me check again from the beginning ST connection is fine 91 hello you have one, one crore rupees this is my mobile number authentication this is adjacent data and my code is completely ready let's run this I'll go back to terminal change my directory to desktop ls I have sms py python call it sms dot py and click on enter and it says message uh, blah 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 this is encrypted and the type is success and type is success okay now I'm going to present my inbox to verify how this message look like I'm going to present my mobile screen and there you can see I'll go to message inbox I'll click on first SMS so this is what we have sent through our API and you can see that Puma OAF offer those six letters are visible as a sender and the message body say hello you have won one crore rupee so that's how you send SMS through API of any any provider well, that's all for this video uh, use this uh, technique to uh, to promote your uh, products brand or or any if you are building a new website or you want to send a OTP to a user you can use these kinds of methods uh, this is just a sample uh, through Python you can do it in a bigger manner as well and you can send a prank SMS as well and just remember do it ethically thank you uh, please don't forget to subscribe see ya